good afternoon sir good afternoon ma'am good afternoon sir i sure be yes sir have a seat thank you sir so ashwari you are you were born in madhya pradesh yes, once sir. or and you are working in bareilly uttar pradesh sir presently living in bareilly living in bareilly yes, sir you are not working anywhere no sir okay okay so you have given uh, your card of preference to be madhya pradesh yes sir yeah and your optional is geography yes sir and you have done your btech in electrical engineering yes sir and chess is your hobby, hobby. yes sir playing chess you have also served worked as deputy head boy you know, so that that keep us school days school days mm -hmm. and cricket also is your yes sir hobby. i have, i have been a part of cricket part university of cricket. team in the session 2016 so uh, of recently we had a huge power shortage in the country yes sir and still is continued yes sir and uh, different states of this country were reeling under that shortage so were we not prepared for it what was the reason uh, why there was a shortage suddenly so this shortage was due to two reasons both due to supply and demand side uh suddenly due to onset of summer and heat waves the peak demand has suddenly increased for example india recently touched 201 gigawatt of peak demand but main problem was uh, due to supply side there was coal shortages in the country due to ongoing ukraine crisis as well as there were transportation issue that the railway rakes that used to transport the coal from one place to another were not available on time this was the reason that certain power plants faced shortage of coal and could not keep up with the demand that were being so the power plants were uh, importing coal from outside uh, sir the coastal areas the power plants that are uh, in the coastal areas used to import the coal from uh, the foreign countries mm -hmm. but due to ukraine crisis the imported coal became very expensive mm -hmm. so they shifted to the domestic uh, supplies but uh, since they were located far from the sources the railway rakes that were used to transport uh, the coal took time and uh, they were not able to cater uh, to the coal demand of every thermal many power of the plant. passenger trains were also cancelled yes sir as a result there okay tell me uh, why the uh, voltage is generally in the multiple of 11 110 220 yes, sir. Yes, sir. why is it in the multiple of 11 Sorry, sir. I am not. Not aware. aware. Yes. Okay, so we can go and read it. Yes, there is a scientific explanation yes, for that. What do you understand by three nines, four nines, five nines in terms of quality of electric power? Three nines, four nines, five nines. Have you heard? Do you sir, know I have heard about it, but I am not. You have heard about it, mm, but I am not. So if it is ninety nine point nine 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 percent pure quality, then it is three nines. If it is ninety nine point nine 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 nine, it is four nines. And similarly, five nines. So, as you go ahead, the quality of power also improves. Sir, I'll read more about. Yeah, thank you, sir. Uh, what do you understand by Queen's Gambit? Sir, Queen's Gambit is a opening in chess mm. in which uh, we use e four as our opening, mm. and uh, we sacrifice a side pawn in exchange of a fr uh, front line pawn of the okay. opposition. Okay. Now, uh, there was a web series also on this. Yes, so sir. What was that about? sir it was about how a girl in mm -hmm. the 1960s yeah. uh, when this game was dominated by men mm -hmm. how a girl uh, from a very modest background yeah. uh, uh, broke that stereotype and became the world champion okay now uh, tell me uh, do you think commercialization of cricket which is taking place is it the correct thing should we do that it is leading to many uh, there are many pros and many cons also yes sir uh people first of all they are they have yeah, and, and after 2020 20 overs people have lost interest in the test cricket and all those things and then uh in ipl you have teams consisting of people from different countries yes, sir. so so what do you think about this commercialization of cricket and, you know bidding process for the cricketers and so on sir i think commercialization of cricket has raised the standard and the competitiveness of the cricket okay. and has established the cricket as a world sport mm -hmm. with uh, this has also led to improvement in the technologies in the cricket uh, the investments in the cricket mm -hmm. so it has overall promoted the sports but mm -hmm. yes sir there are some apprehensions uh, various apprehensions regarding this mm -hmm. uh, regarding mm, the options regarding the betting 
these are the apprehensions but sir overall i think that commercialization has helped cricket and uh, it can help other sports as well okay now uh, tell me why do you want to come to civil service simple question but you have to give an answer yes sir sir first of all it's a very good career career path uh, it offers uh, us the opportunity to work in various diverse field as well as uh, provide us with a set of challenges on a day to day basis mm -hmm. plus it has an element of public service if we are able to perform our uh, task whatever we are given in the civil services to the best of our ability in an integral manner then i think that uh, the element of public service is what provides you the satisfaction in the end and that is one of the very strong driving force for me to join civil services okay anything else connected with some uniqueness about the public uh, service that is the civil service some of the points which you have said are unique yes, any other thing regarding governance or any other aspect that you are going to occupy different stages of governance sir i think uh, the connection with the various places for example connection with the public with the political executive with the businessman so bureaucracy uh, has that unique position where they can connect with everyone mm. and can act as a linking a link between them mm. uh, so that uh, a policy continuation can be carried out in a very smooth manner and overall development of the country okay now you know many time we write as bachelor of engineering and sometime we write bachelor of technology btech and be what is the difference between the two Sometimes the degrees are written B.Tech. Sir, Sometimes. I think that Bachelor of Engineering is generally provided by the foreign universities mm. or uh, the college colleges, mm. whereas uh, local colleges and uh, that they provide B.Tech. It's a, sorry, sir, I am not exactly aware, but this is what I have heard. Okay, of. what do you understand by geopolitical and geoeconomic factors influencing our foreign policy? And can you give some examples yes, of sir. that? so geopolitical is the uh, political maneuvers that are happening be due to geography as the core uh, um, due to the uh, geography as a core factor mm -hmm. for example uh, if i talk about india mm -hmm. then the land route to the west is passes through afghanistan mm -hmm. therefore afghanistan provides a very crucial juncture for india mm -hmm. and india is actively pursuing the scene uh, through various connectivity projects so this can be a geopolitical reason and sir uh, geo as far as geo economic as concerned it is related to the economic prospects of a particular geography for example we uh, import uranium from kazakhstan therefore it can become a very geo economically important country for india because we lack uranium as a fuel that can aid our nuclear power plants so that means ki there will be no permanent friends or foes there will only be permanent interests Yes, sir, to some extent, I agree with this yeah. statement we'll keep on that changing, uh, the on. dynamics, as the dynamics changes, we should uh, keep our national interest at the forefront and uh, deal by case by case basis. Okay, my last question to you would be: While the war is going on, the Russia-Ukraine yes, war, uh, who are the, which are the countries which may be uh, actively uh, taking part in the background to bring about mediation between the two countries? sir one is i would say india mm. during uh, operation ganga also india did try to connect both the sides uh, one can be india and sir to some extent i think uh, china also is propagating uh, has also offered to mediate between the two so the closeness of china with russia does it ring alarm bells for india yes sir definitely if there are some apprehensions that uh, russia coming close to china can create some issues for india because india is heavily dependent on russia for their arms mm. so uh, that can affect our national security as well apart from that there are very strategic projects uh, with russia for example it is aiding in our nuclear power plants in our energy security needs as well so if it comes close to china since china has been hostile towards us it can cause a variety of concerns for india the biggest example of globalization can you give in this world one of the biggest examples of globalization sir i think digitization the uh, upcoming of the digital age which has it sector mm -hmm. that has connected uh, majority and of the amongst system. nations example of globalization can you give what do you talk about eu european union yes yeah. 
was it not an example where countries you know they they decided to come together in terms of many common denominators yes sir so it was a case of rather than looking after their personal interest yes, which was mr trump's policy in in the last election and do you think britain is lamenting or repenting over the fact that they decided to exit the european union sir britain has tried to um, test this policy it has both pros and cons but uh, since this was based on a referendum that people's choice i think whatever decision they have to take they have to deal with it uh, but yes sir it has uh, the leaving mm. of uh, britain from the european union had has both pros and cons that is just was turkey instrumental in some negotiation between ukraine and russia Sir, sir, I am not aware oh, of this. Okay, and... Now, <clears throat> tell us what the Sardar Patel's dream for the civil service. What was his vision? <coughs> sir, <coughs> Sardar Patel has called civil services as the steel frame for our <coughs> country, and uh, I. As... What qualities actually he he prescribed? We will be the qualities in the civil service, the officers. So first and foremost, I would say <coughs> the, the qualities which he actually wanted. Sorry, sir, I am not aware of what he talked about in respect of the qualities. Then what you were telling? You were you were about to tell something. What was that? Mm, sir, I think I I I was making in general statement, no, but no, 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 not okay. in case of Sardar Patel. Only specific sorry, sir, to Sardar was, Patel's. Sorry, sir, I am not aware. Yes. For the civil service. Okay, we leave it. Yes, <coughs> primary education and primary health services are very important in the yes, country sir. now tell us who provides these two services primary health primary education sir i think uh, there is a hierarchy hierarchy maintained uh, <coughs> from center to states and uh, to the local so administration the government center is not important in yes, the states are there Sir, so state government formulates the plan for that, and district administration implements them on the local local base. District areas. administration implements means who? The district administration. So the district magistrate and uh, district magistrate has nothing to do with primary education and primary. <coughs> Sir, so, but there are the cases where infrastructure development can take place through sanctioning only. Infrastructure development is not. by the district administration what do you understand by district administration what is the district administration can you just tell us sir so district administration uh, caters to the daily yeah, but what is district administration first it so consists of what sir so district administration consists of the bureaucracy that implements the what bureaucracy means who who in the bureaucracy so the civil servants in the various departments uh, what 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 which departments sir so like municipal corporation and uh, municipal corporation sorry sir i have to look about the hierarchy of the district administration what no, is it hierarchy tell us the departments or officials in the district administration so the political executive is selected by the people no 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 i don't have that answer i want this also sorry sir i am not able to comprehend as of now i will read i'll read more about it. Oh, what is the panchayati raj institutions so panchayati raj institutions are the third tier of our government uh, that formulates and implements the plan at the panchayati level This was constitutionalized by seventy third Constitutional Amendment Act, nineteen ninety. Panchayat level means, sir, village panchayats level uh, uh -huh. implement. They implement the scheme, government schemes, and uh, at village panchayat level only. No, sir. The this is the lowest level of uh, implementation of the government schemes and policies. I didn't understand actually. Lowest level of government means what? Where we can find these panchayati raj institutions? Tell us, sir. At uh, the village, at village level, we can see the implementation of panchayati raj. The implementation will come after that. Yes, sir. First, tell us the institutions. 
So who, who is there at village panchayat, village level? Sir, village level, Gram Sabha is at village level. Gram Sabha is at village level. Mm -hmm. uh, it is... Uh, <coughs> sorry, sir, I'll have to read. It is Gram Panchayat. Yes, sir. Then at Taluka level, which will be the body at Taluka level? Sorry, sir, I'm not able to read. Okay. <coughs> now, who conducts the election to the local bodies? The state election commission conducts the mm, election at the how local bodies. Yeah. How it conducts? Sir, it conducts through uh, the returning officers. Uh, it, it has its own machinery to conduct the election of the uh, what local is that bodies. Machinery? Yeah, yeah. What is that machinery? So, sir, I am not aware of how the election machinery of local government. You are aware of the election machinery for the assembly election? So, sir, I will have to read about it. Okay. Ashwarya? Yes, ma'am. Chess? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Now, if I play e4, yes, ma'am. What will you play? And why? Um, I have different options uh, as per where if, I will uh, we are playing Gico Piano. Pardon, ma'am? Gico Piano, if we are, the opening is Gico Piano, then what will you play? Sorry, ma'am, I am not aware no, of okay. this opening. Okay. Now, how would you describe chess as a game? What is it? Ma'am, I would uh, classify chess as mental sport, uh, which uh, provides uh, mm, a very good exercise for uh, mind as well as logical ability to play in a comprehensive manner. Okay. Yes, now, uh, what is being done on the board? What kind of a strategy? Sir, ma'am, it is related to how we arrange our pieces and place them in such a way that we can gain a strategic advantage over our, our opposition. It's a war game. Yes, Where did it start? Ma'am, origin of chess uh, started in India, but in a different form. It was started in the form of a game Chaturang, uh, where a vice minister originated this game for his king so that he can explain the importance the of each strategy. and every uh, uh, to him and uh, explain the importance of each and every um, person in the empire to the king. Okay. Now, you have been member of the university cricket team. Yes, ma'am. Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Why does cricket attract <clears throat> so much of sponsorship and not any other thing? I believe that the head start that cricket got uh, after our 1983 victory made it very popular among Indians. Uh, so, uh, since it India is a very huge country with a huge population base, as the cricket become po uh, slowly popular in our country, uh, this is after privatization uh, when the multinational companies have started coming into India, they saw this as an opportunity to propagate uh, their brand through cricket and that is why so much of sponsorship yes ma'am yeah okay uh, since international relations is your third choice my question is what is do you think the un and, and its bodies are losing their relevance today there is need for reforms or there is, they, they should be totally banned uh, not banned but kind of uh, they should be wound up Ma'am, I beg to differ on this. Okay. Uh, I think that uh, European Union nation mm, through grouping have provide, uh, provided them with a sense of security as well as cohesiveness. So yes, there are some issues, for example, some economic issues that some countries are facing and some geopolitical issues that other are facing. But I but think... Let's take the example of the uh, virus, the Wuhan. What is the role of uh, WHO then? Ma'am, WHO has declared uh, the role of WHO is to integrate this whole uh, world and different countries to the latest information available uh, to them regarding any health hazard and proper health practices for the same. Although it has, it is being uh, there are some apprehensions that they have delayed in declaration of pandemic and has not been totally uh, fair with respect to their treatment of China. But I think still it's a very important institution 
that can be a game changer in the integrated health system of the world now let us look at the russia ukraine war yes ma'am they haven't been able to bring them to the peace uh, you know a negotiation so far yes ma'am so how relevant are these organizations changes reforms or total disbanding i think these institutions provide uh, an international platform where um, countries can come and build a consensus together and put their grievances in the absence of uh, such institution such communication can reduce and which can further cause very much very problems although they are not able to bring war to the rest as of now but still they provide a communication link for us to negotiate in a better manner which can be successful in the future all right and the prime minister's forthcoming visit are you aware of yes ma'am he is going to nepal yeah uh, at lumbini yeah so uh, so what is this buddhist diplomacy which is now following ma'am uh, buddhist diplomacy is related to uh, making people to people connect with those countries which have buddhist uh, <coughs> buddhism as their religion or had a rich culture of buddhism this can help india to gain a soft power over these countries and can br- uh, build good relations with them okay now geography is your option yes ma'am uh if i say there is a 3 degree rise in sea level would there be any safe place on earth sorry ma'am i am not able but act- any actual data related to this but uh, yes 3 degree centigrade can really <coughs> uh, increase the sea levels but i am not exactly aware about how much sea level would it rise due to de- increase in the 3 degree centigrade what will happen ma'am sea level will definitely mm-hmm. rise and will submerge the coast many coastal communities many islands uh, this will happen if uh, temperature is risen to about 3 degree centigrade please read on this read the ipcc latest report yes ma'am because geography is your subject yes ma'am yeah yes ma'am now when is the flag hoisted and when is the flag unfurled sorry ma'am i'll, I'll read more about okay it. thank you thank you ma'am kari shankar okay as per what is the name, meaning of the name so it means prosperity prosperity yes sir what is the two words which connect this name it's connected with iswar comes from iswar iswar the the overall prosperity and happiness associated with the almighty yes sir the iswar thank you sir so it's not exactly prosperity it's overall well being associated with yes, with the almighty himself now uh, tell me what is the difference between strategic advantage and tactical advantage so i am not aware about this as a game of chess so strategy if i talk about this then strategic advantage is some long term advantage but tactical advantage is confined to a particular point yes uh, for example if i if i am pinning my bishop uh, mm-hmm. after the king and one uh, piece is in between mm-hmm. then it can be said as a tactical advantage but if i follow a strategy due to which i am ahead of one pawn or one or two pieces mm-hmm. then it can be said as a strategic advantage you said that in a king's gambit yes, you sacrifice one of your pawns yes sir what is that so it is a strategic advantage it's a tactical loss to gain a strategic advantage. advantage yes sir okay thank you sir yeah now tell me what is the difference between free trade agreement and customs union so free trade agreement is an agreement where uh, we import or uh, the trade is done at a very low duty uh, for example if i have a trade agreement with some other country mm-hmm. and if i am importing the goods from it then it is done at a very low tariff this will encourage the trade between the two countries is it at that low tariff or zero tariff sir at low tariff not exactly at zero. there can be some items at zero tariff mm-hmm. but it has some items at low tariff Okay, um, sir. I am not aware about union. customs union, sir. Customs union is totally zero tariff. Okay, sir. The goods move from one country to another without any tariff. Yes, sir. <coughs> okay. 
Now, uh, tell me what is the role of geography in Ukraine, the Siawash? Yes, sir. Sir, Ukraine is located at a very important point, which can be said as a buffer between the Russia and the Western countries, which are part of NATO. So, if uh, Ukraine is occupied by NATO, or sorry, if Ukraine joins NATO, then it will bring NATO to the doorsteps of Russia okay, and so can have security threat. There is one geographical point. So, what second is, is uh, Russia has majority of ports as cold ports, but uh, uh, Ukraine has warm ports which can give its uh, all-round ac access to the sea uh, to Russia. So, by annexing Ukraine, it can give, get access to two warm ports, one being Sevastopol that was through Crimean crisis and one Mariupol. These two ports can be very significant for Russia. This can be... And what about Odessa? Pardon, sir? Odessa. 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 Sorry, sir. I am not... Another port. Yes, sir. Okay. That is the second thing. Yes, sir. Mm. Warm water port. Then what? Sir, apart from this, Ukraine uh, pr has a very good agricultural land that produces huge quantity of wheat. Uh, the, uh, due to this, it's a set, it's this location. It has agric good agricultural produce. That can be also one of the reason to occupy any Ukraine. Other, any other geographical reason which plays a part? Sir, the gas pipelines that uh, Russia supplies to um, the European countries that passes through Ukraine. Some of them. So, uh, by gaining control of the Ukraine, the tariff can be controlled in a very better manner. And that can lead to cost cutting for Russia. Are you sure they are passing through Ukraine? Yes, passing. So that's what I have heard, but uh, mm -hmm. I have to read more. Then for the strategic more. advantage will be with Ukraine. Okay. Okay. Anything else? There are many more points. Yes, sir. I'll, I'll read more. Uh, so the the geography plays an important role in this situation. Yes, sir. Now tell me what is. In case of India, mm -hmm. it is said the history of India is substantially influenced by its geography. Yes, How? Sir, first of all, India is the largest peninsula with a huge access to sea routes. So this was one reason how the Europeans arrived to the India. Europeans arrived, they arrived not yet. Mm, this was uh, second we, is uh, we shipped our goods through the Yes, sir. yes, sir. And sir, uh, in the northern region, we have Himalayas. Mm -hmm. That has also influenced uh, the international relation in the earlier period with uh, the invaders from China unable to come to India. Okay. That uh, Himalayas has been a protective shield for us. Okay, that's Apart from this, sir, due to various uh, ranges and various river divides that India has been blessed with, mm -hmm. there has been uh, the development of different types of culture. For example, uh, Vindhyas in the north, so one civilization. Vindhyas are mountains, not hills. Yeah. Sir, I was talking about the ranges only. Due mm -hmm. to multiple ranges, the different different cultures uh, de uh, developed in different parts of okay. India. What else? Sorry, sir, I'm... Then, uh, yes, sir, I'll, I'll try to read more. You have a vast network of rivers. Yes, sir. Which provides very fertile land to the country. Yes, sir. So India has very fertile plains. Yes, sir. Then we have Plato in the south, which is surrounded by by what? Eastern Ghat and Western Ghat. Yes, sir. That's another important geographical area. Yes, sir. Then what? Our opening is mainly in the not just north west. Yes, sir. Which provides food to the to the land. Yes, sir. Essentially. So there are many, many points. Yes, sir. Now my last point is uh, there is a UN report titled Our Common Future. What does it mean to you? Sir, I'm not aware about this process. <coughs> short. Think about it. Sir, I'm not able to recall as from the report. What is sustainable development? So sustainable development is a concept in which our present uh, we our present actions are taken in such a way that it can be sustainable for a long time to cater to the present generation as well and to cater to the future generation as well. Where does this sentence come from? 
सर दिस वाज फर्स्ट पॉइंट इन द स्टॉकहोम कॉन्फ्रेंस 1972 What was the Stockholm conference? What was the name of that conference? So, sir, I will read more about it. I am not aware. <coughs> this sentence comes from this report of the UN. Yes, sir. So, read about this. Yes, Our common future. Yes, sir. You will get it. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Okay. Ashwarya, tell me something about the battery technology. Do you think? Firstly, tell me how the graphene battery is an improvement over the lithium-ion battery. Sir, have you heard of the graphene yes, battery? Yes, sir. I have heard about it. I am not aware about the technical specification, but I have broadly heard about it that okay. it has higher energy density and they are more durable. So, like we have recently. So, how does what determines the durability? <laughs> what is that mechanism? Sir, can I explain this with an example? Yeah. Sir, presently we have been witnessing there have been some explosions in the electric vehicles. Okay. These are due to because the electrolyte is flammable. Uh, due to physical stress, due to thermal stress, or due to overcharging, this uh, liquid can catch fire and can lead to explosion. If a uh, battery is designed in such a way that these three stresses can be controlled, hmm. then I think it a battery can be said as more durable. What is better. a physical stress? How does that take place? Sir, for example, if we uh, are in an accident, okay. then the collision can cause damage to the battery, oh, and I the see. electrolyte can leak, and that can also cause an explosion. Okay. Okay. in case of thermal stress uh, more heat in case of more heat again electrolyte can lead and can lead to flame but these are dry batteries isn't it yes sir the car battery yes sir which is proposed to be used in the cars yes sir are they dry or are they got a liquid uh, electrolyte sir i'll have to read more on this okay yes sir okay uh Section one twenty four a sedition. Yes, sir. What is your view on its present status, and do you feel that it has long uh, continued on the statute book far too long than it should have? So the present status is that section one twenty four is the sedition. Uh, yeah, obviously. Inciting yeah. hatred against government through rep uh, representation, signs, and symbols. uh i think sir sign symbols and others or any other any other represent yes sir okay mm, sir i think that uh, uh, sedition is uh, important but if it is uh, used in a very pragmatic manner means only in those cases where incitement is through violence and uh, is not misused then i think sedition so is what is the crux of the issue sir there have been many instances of uh, misuse of sedition Uh, against uh, curbing the dissent um, as well okay. so uh, sedition has been misused but it has been an important tool in curbing the insurgency as well so i think if uh, we use sedition in a limited manner then it is a good law but uh, rest is up to the government they have also said that they will reconsider the law what was the background of this enactment so this yes sir there is a historical background yes sir now that historical background has uh, that uh, history uh, since it was enacted lot of water has flown under the bridge yes sir so what is the compulsion for its continuity that's what i'm asking yes sir so during colonial times it was enacted to curb the speech against the government but in the independent india it was uh, deemed because at that uh, uh, in the early stages of independent it was deemed that uh, it is important for the security since india was a recently independent nation it was important for the what, integrity of what india. is the harm in if there is in a democracy mm -hmm. you can criticize the government yes sir so law is basically aimed its main theme is that prevent any such activity against the government not state yes sir isn't it yes sir so that's the crux Yes, Criticizing sir. the government is no crime. Yes, I mean, sir. you can always do it. Yes, sir. Isn't it? But you are the visited by the punishment on account on account of this. Yes, sir. And therefore, a large question has arisen now. Yes, sir. Right. Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, geography can be both bane and a boon. Yes, sir. With the example of Africa, please explain <laughs> us.
sir if i talk about uh, countries like sudan uh, these are landlocked countries and they are located at the sahel region where the resources and the precipitation is also very less so they are now facing the food crisis and water crisis uh, due to the lack of resources so for them their geography is bane and for many landlocked countries per se not having access to sea is a bane because they uh, curb the, their trade potential okay uh, uh, if i talk about boom then i i will take uh, the example of united states of america okay how this, this has been an isolated country which has protected it from the invaders meanwhile while others are others were fighting with each other this has pro- and with abundant resources it this has provided them to develop in a very rapid manner and today become a superpower okay thank you okay so uh, we'll take you back ashwari for a few moments yes sir and we will call you back for giving our feedback to you yes, just stay tuned yes, thank you sir thank you sir thank you ma'am I will see that. Thank you. Uh, Ashwari, when is your interview? Sir, twenty third. Okay. So the first time you will be appearing yes, at sir. the CSE. Yes, sir. How many mocks have you attended before? So five. Five. Yes, sir. And how many more to go? So two. Two. Yes. Okay. Earlier uh, years also you have been attending mock. No sir. Mm-hmm. This is the yes, first sir. time you are attending. Yes sir. Yes sir. Okay. Okay. So tell us, how do you think you performed in this mock interview? Sir, I made builder as far as the questions from the sir was concerned, yeah. um, and I somewhat lost momentum as well. That's what happened. But I think I could have done better and framed my statements better and brush up on some areas. Okay. So uh, I assure you, there is a. nothing to feel pessimistic about you yes, are sir. good there is no doubt about it yes, many of the questions you were able to come out very well with the answers of course there are always some questions which one is not able to reply yes, but uh, since time is there still the time is there you still have almost 9 uh, uh, days no 7 seven days 7 days. days even then 7 days is good enough and uh, so let me tell you about uh, some of your uh, areas they are given so bareilly uh, mansour uttar pradesh madhya pradesh yes sir <coughs> you have to prepare very well on this yes what are the and the, the, you have to prepare from the point of view of statistics yes sir so the issues related to the agriculture issue related to industry power irrigation <coughs> yes then what are the prominent places of interest tourist tourism then some of the archaeological sites what is uh, ailing in the state of uttar pradesh or madhya pradesh also the social evils or social practices what are the food habits what are the dress what is the culture what is the music what are the dances all these things so prepare very well and yes, regarding both the states one general question i will say that uh, sometime a question may be asked that if you are posted in your district say bareilly if you get into civil service yes, what are the three priorities that you will first of all like to take care of okay yes, similarly a question may come that if you have to sell your state to a foreign foreign investor yes, what are the strengths yes. that you are going to tell about your state yes, so prepare in respect of both the states yes sir uh geography yes so anything connected with geography so why does the cyclone come on the eastern side of this country not so much on the western side yes. which country which part of this uh, our country is going to be submerged because of the rise in the ocean levels now rise in the sea levels will take place because the rise in temperature is ultimately going to melt the, the glaciers yes, so it is the temperature rise because of that the melting of the snow will take place and that is why the sea level are going to rise yes, and sea level will naturally inundate some of the areas so understand that 
the, the, the first country to be submerged under the sea would be Tuvalu. T U V A L U. It is a population of about 11,000 people. Already five, 50% have already been evacuated from there. And they uh, totally uh, say, clearly say, that it is the fault of the developed nations because of their, uh, you know, uh, coming out with uh, economic, uh, this environmental degradation that we have reached this situation. So what are the visible effects of uh, uh, climate change, which is there? And of course, read IPCC report. What are the UN United Nations organization, which looks after, supervises uh, the environmental affairs? Yes, sir. And also uh, understand which are the uh, congregations, meetings which of nations which have taken place in the recent past. That is in Rio, Rio plus 10, Rio plus 20, all those yes. things is coming. Then geography, uh, many issues connected with geopolitical and geoeconomic consideration. I had asked you that question. Some questions are the questions were also asked by the panelists also. <laughs> so prepare them well. And then simultaneously the things connected with Russia, Ukraine war. I had asked you uh, a country, about a country which is probably trying to mediate and uh, a question, a hint was also given regarding Turkey also. So you can read about that Turkey. And then what is the supply chain uh, disruption which is taking place because of this war and why India had to, uh, you know, initially started with exporting wheat and uh, why it had to stop in between because the prices, uh, the shortage of wheat was likely to occur because of the rising temperature as a result of which the production was likely to be much less. And uh, second thing is that uh, understand Atmanirikha Bharat. Yes. Because that is something which is uh, now country after country are only thinking about protectionism. So worrying about their own country. Though India in COVID-19 case, the vaccine diplomacy which it had, mm. that was something which was sort of a globalization. It, yes. it exported vaccine to 100 countries. But now the, the trend is that everyone is caring for its own. Mm. So therefore self-reliance is absolutely essential. So PLI scheme, uh, Startup India, you know, Stand Up India and many such incentives have been given for uh, investing in this country by the foreign uh, companies and also uh, lessening our dependence on the foreign uh, companies even in the in areas like defense production. And many areas have been opened up to the private sector. So understand the privatization policy of the finance minister. Also go through the budget provision. Yes, and the economic situation in the country, reference, special reference to the inflationary tendencies, indicators which are taking place, 7.8% inflation. Yes, and what could be the reason for that? What are the measures that need to be taken? If you were the advising the finance minister, what steps would you advise? And also the Reserve Bank of India suddenly had to change yes, many of the rates. So that was also resulting out of the inflationary tendency. Monetary policy, fiscal policy, all these things. Coming to uh, some of the specific questions. Uh, now, before that, electrical engineering, naturally you have to understand every bit of electrical engineering. What exactly? Uh, you know, I asked you about multiple of voltage, Y11 multiple. Yes, and uh, many questions are uh, attached to the electrical engineering. Prepare them well. And there may be a panelist who may be having a very good knowledge about it. Then chess, many questions have been asked, so uh, you would be aware about them. And uh, cricket also, uh, commercialization of cricket and so on, IPL, test okay. cricket. What are the different ways in which a batsman can be out? Even questions like that can be asked. And then Sar Sardar Patel's dream of a civil servant. And a civil servant, what qualities does he see? This you read very carefully because this is the service you are aspiring for. Okay. And then after that, you can talk about if they ask you mm -hmm. that what do you think should be the qualities of a civil servant, then you can talk about integrity and honesty and uh, efficiency and effectiveness, empathy, compassion. Yes, then uh, the Prime Minister's visit recently to the European nation yes, and sir. now impending visit to Nepal, why it is important. The last visit to Bangladesh, why it was important. Mm -hmm. Situation developing in Sri Lanka. Afghanistan, the Taliban government, 
and also in Myanmar, the military. So what do you think should be the India's stance towards these two countries? So India and its neighbors, study them well. And also India's ties with other big countries like China, United States, US, and also understand the role of the United Nations institutions. Are they effective? Why were they not successful in ensuring that the war does not take place? And uh, similarly, the role of WHO in the COVID-19, role of UNESCO, role of uh, International Labour Organization, so on. All those institutions, you understand them. What are Bretton Woods institutions, role of IMF, World Bank? There is a talk of about IMF loan to Sri Lanka and so on. So what is that? ADB again. Yes. Uh, so this is uh, about this and then uh, read about good governance and also citizen centric administration. Now, uh, the question was asked regarding your name and strategic advantage and tactical advantage. What is the difference? Yes. These are some of the very important terms which are uh, used and therefore you should understand the free trade agreement and a, a customs union. A role of geography in Ukraine, Russia, the war, and history of India is substantially influenced by geography, which again is a very famous uh, you know, uh, adage. And uh, then UN report on our common future. So these are some of the things, sustainable development uh, and rise in temperature, what is going to take place. And if we can limit the temperature rise to 1.5 degrees, probably we'll be able to save some <coughs> flora, fauna, and and, and the sea life and the biodiversity and so on. And so this is about uh, almost all uh, the things. And then the questions was asked regarding uh, the battery, you know, yes, the sir. electrical, since you are electrical engineer, and about the law of sedition. They may ask you about uh, the recent incident regarding Punjab government police taking you know one particular person from yes, Delhi, sir. Bagga. What is the legality of it? and so on and uh, then we can talk about some like marital rape, hijab controversy, Ayodhya verdict. So all these issues, some of which may be controversial also, but you yes, have sir. to take care that you don't come out with a provocative answer to any question which are uh, you know, controversial or tricky questions. Always give both the sides of the answer yes, and if they ask for your opinion, then remain on the right side of the government. Okay, yes, come out with answers in order of priority so that the most important part of the answer comes first. And then questions were uh, asked about uh, the back background of the enactment pertaining to Sedition Act and geography uh, can be a pain or boon again. So a large number of questions, for example, here also you came out with a good answer and many other questions also. So overall you are good yes, and you can be outstanding. There is no doubt about it yes, and have this feeling have a positive feeling that in the next seven days, if you start working on some of these areas, I can assure you, you will end up with very good marks. Okay. Yes. Your communication skills are fine. Your mental alertness is fine. You are able to uh, assess a question fairly well. Balance of judgment is there. You um, your calm and otherwise composed. Yes. And uh, also your articulation skills are fairly good. So everything is in your favor and uh, have a positive outlook. That here it's chance has come to me, first attempt, yes, and I should be able to uh, crack this examination. Yes, if you have any questions, you can ask. No, sir, everything is okay. You are good. Yes, don't sir. worry. Have confidence. Don't worry. You will do very well. Yes, sir. You will get very good marks. Thank you, sir. Just your, your otherwise your fundamentals are fine. A little bit of knowledge here and there would help you uh, a great deal. Some of the issues which were asked regarding uh, education, mm -hmm. you know, and uh, district administration prepare very well. Yes, Role of the collector prepare very well. You know? And Panchayati Raj institutions. These are some of the areas uh, which are often asked. Okay. But rest assured, yes, uh, have confidence what we are telling you that you will do very well. Thank you, sir. Yes. All the best. Sir. Thank you so much. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. All the best. An Academy. Let's crack it.